Follow me. Hold, soldier. You paid for this. Yes, sir. Waiting, sir. Initiate. This wall could be something of value. We must maintain an active guard here from now on. By the will of Vider, we will overcome. This will lead us into the Volcaran Wasteland. Mariku, you are certain you and Water can sense the presence of the other Prime Elementals in this direction? Yes, we sense them. Not in the Wasteland itself, but in the lands beyond it. <sighs> that is what I was afraid of. Well, there is nothing for it, is there? We have no choice but to find a way through that lava pit. I can fly to see if there is any good path to walk on, but the going will be dangerous no matter what. Please don't say we have to go through that. I am sorry, Gimp. This is the only way for all of us to get up land. Drat. First swamp, now ash soot. I am never getting clean. So, toothpick is up that way? Beyond this wasteland, yes. That's all I need to hear. Getting him back is the most important thing now. Right, we will get him back. This is my fault. This is not anyone's fault. If I had not tripped over myself, like like I always do, Tupic would not have made that attempt to save me. That's enough, Henderson. The morrow that took Toothpick is a morrow teleporter named Tool Bakra. He was going to get Toothpick no matter what had happened. There was no chance of you stopping him. Even Shotgun would have had a hard time going one-on-one -on -one with Tool Bakra. Jandar should never have had us go on this quest. He should have stopped us. There is no way we can take on these kinds of enemies. They are way too strong. I thought you, of all people, were not very concerned about us dying. I am not talking about myself dying. If my friends were to die, I would... You are concerned about us? Me, Henderson, and Toothpick? Of course not. If you three die under my command, it would look bad for my leadership capabilities. And, and, and I, I, I'm just worried. If I die when protecting all of your sorry behinds, and you die anyway, it would be a big waste of my sacrifice. This is what has been bothering you, hasn't it? Ever since you four first encountered Korok, you've been afraid of losing your comrades. Daniel, you need to gut it up. Come on. You guys are the airborne elite. You're some of the best soldiers of your time. But that's just it. We're not. Uh, wait. You aren't what? We are not the best of the best. We are some of the worst soldiers to come out of the U.S. Army. We were so bad, in fact, that before arriving here in Valhalla, we never were allowed to fight in the battlefield. Well, 
Holy jackrabbits! Oh please, Lieutenant Dan. You all did get some basic training. But he is right. Outside of that, all we did was help sell war bonds as stage performers. Wait a second. Does that mean... Drake Alexander? The battle he was fighting when Yandar brought you? Yep. It was a stage performance. A play for the troops that were on leave or injured. So, all of you were... Uh, 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 how do you say it? Uh, actors? Yes. We were actors for the army. But on that performance day, for some reason, we were given live weapons by mistake. If Jandar would not have pulled us when he did, we would have died from that accident. Well, now we got that secret out. Can we get going? I feel like we're doing a lot of turning and staring lately. I don't care who we are or who we were, Toothpick is out there, and we are the only ones who can save him. We might be the worst of the worst, but I will still fight. It does not matter to me who you three are. You are here, and by the will of Yandar, you are here for a reason. And it is not like you are totally helpless. Guns and grenades are a great superpower, <laughs> and you four have confidence. Don't lose that ever. You guys are right. If there's a way, we will find a way. Lieutenant Dan, are you ready for this? You all are idiots. Didn't you see that this was all to get Henderson back into a better state of mind? I knew he was probably losing faith, so giving him a pep talk is what I had in mind from the beginning. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> oh, of course. That is exactly what you are doing. <laughs> Please. Ugh, I can see why Raylan gets headaches. So come on, Henderson. You've been in the back way too much. It's your turn to take point. Like I was saying before, we've got to find a way through this lava field. And Gimp, you provide him cover. Uh, okay. We will get going as soon as I find a good path. Okay, Daniel? I will fly over the wasteland and see where there are safe paths. And while Kelda is doing that, we are not going to slack off either. Let's go, boys. We'll search out the area as well. No need to fear any monster, wizard, or whatever is out here. Ooh, you better watch out, because Lieutenant Dan and his men are here to dish out a world of pain to anyone who stands in our Could way. Could those guys be any more ridiculous? <laughs> I don't want them any other way. Yes, we are still here. Six full days and we still have not heard from our superiors. And yes, I did get struck by lightning. But we have been able to get rest. Yes, we have had that. And there might be a rock creature wandering around here. Yes, that too, but we are still stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> we are here, finally. <sighs> Great. I don't see or sense any prime elemental around here at the moment. But then I already know my senses are not all that good at tracking them. We should go ask those two soldiers if they've seen anything. So, this is the quest that Janda asked for us to do? Don't tell me we have to comb the whole desert. Uh, no. This is our first stop. Our quest is just getting started. <laughs>